What's up guys, it's Lori. I'm getting ready to go to the gym and annihilate my legs. I'm mixing right now my BCA's Primal Evolution mixed with my pre-workout Unleashed. And then I'm going to go to the gym and tear these legs up. You ready to see my leg day? It's crazy. Okay, so I start my leg day with a good five minutes on the elliptical on the bicycle. Getting a nice warm up, get the blood moving around my legs to get ready for the attack I'm about to unleash on them. And then I like to start with the inner and outer thigh movements. I just positioned my seat again because I like to get a nice good position where it's as far extended as my leg could possibly go. So I really focus on the squeeze and sculpting the inner thigh. I usually warm up with about three sets inner and three sets outer. And I'll try to do heavy about 20 to 25 reps. And on the next leg day I do, I'll probably just do like minute intervals with a lighter weight, about 40 pounds, just to really get a nice burn. I usually superset with all my workouts, so you'll see I always go back and forth and probably take like 20 to 30 seconds just to catch my breath if I have to in between. But I like to make all my training kind of like a cardio session as well. My next exercise, I do leg extensions. I usually start off with my toes pointed forward and I'll go as heavy as I possibly can go. So right now I'm about up to 140, 145 and I'll do about 15 reps at that weight. Four sets and then I'll start to switch the positioning of my toes. I'll do four sets with my toes pointed in and then four with my toes pointed out. I have a weak point that I'm trying to train right now which is my quads and I'd like to see some muscle separation soon in them, which I'm starting to see. I want that nice sweep, so I'm really focusing on my quads and getting a good burn and lifting as heavy as I can go. Legs are my weak point and I hate training them, but for some reason I'm starting to enjoy it. I can actually see the cuts coming out and always wearing my leggings so I can see when I got a good leg pump going on. Next I do one leg hamstring curls. And I do about 40 pounds on these hamstring curls because I really want to get a good extension and feel the burn in my hamstring. I usually go back and forth about four sets and I try to go over 20 reps. Today I'm doing squats on this machine. I love this machine, it's the perfect angle. I can really focus on hitting my glutes as well as my quads. And I even feel a little bit of my hamstrings in this exercise. If I'm doing the Smith machine or a free barbell and squatting with it, I don't like the position of my back, but I always definitely wear that belt and try to go a little bit heavy on it. But on this machine, I could do a little bit better with the angling and without it hurting my back. So usually with these squats, I'll do about 15 to 20 reps, and I'll go as low as I possibly can. I really want to feel that in the back of my glutes. And once I hit the bottom, I squeeze for a split second. I supersetted squats today with one-legged one leg kickbacks. I like to go as heavy as I can go with this and really focus on a full extension and squeezing my glutes. Right underneath my glutes I have a little bit of a weak point that I'm trying to sculpt and shape so I just recently added this to my leg workout. I'm going to try to hit about 20 reps on each side and I do four sets of this as well. And with each set, I'll increase the weight. I am my favorite not. <laughs> I hate leg presses. But the only enjoyment I get out of it is being able to rock on the weight and feel nice, um, feel nice weight, I guess. Like with my upper body, like when I'm doing bicep curls or if I'm doing a shoulder press, I like to go real heavy. So with this exercise, my legs allow me to really throw on the weight and, um, feel like I'm actually putting something up. I've been trying to change my training to be a little bit lighter than normal on my upper body and a little bit heavier on my lower since my lower has got to catch up with my upper. 
So for this one, I'm going to go as low as I possibly can, and I switch my leg positions. This one, my toes are pointed out, and then my next step, my toes will be pointed forward so I can focus on when my legs are out, my quads, and together my hamstrings. I got about six plates on there, times 12, times 45 pounds, about 540 pounds. I like to feel that high. I like to feel that weight. It's such a heavy weight, it's hard to get as low as I like with that. So I usually save this one for my last set. I don't want to do it with just two plates on each side, but that's my warm up two plates. And then I superset my leg press with walking lunges. And today I didn't want to use a barbell. Sometimes I'll throw weight on my back or I'll hold a plate in my hands. But I was going really heavy on the leg press, so I just wanted to focus on really just a stretch and an extension. Next, I'm doing stiff leg deadlifts. I'm doing these for my hamstrings. It looks like there's 45, plate, uh, 45 pound plates on each side, but they're dummy ones. They're only 25 pounds. I don't really like to go too heavy on these because I don't want to hurt my back. I didn't have a belt on. I'm just doing this right now for a nice extension and to finish up my leg workout with a nice stretch. Checking my position, making sure that I'm going low enough and my glutes are pointed out <laughs> and my back is hunched the right way. I've been training my legs every three days since it is my weak point. And then last, I focus on my calves. Usually I'll do about 20 reps at each position where I'm changing my toes pointed in and out But there was actually someone standing behind me while I was videotaping so I got a little stage fright and just did a quickie just to document But I like to get a nice good uh, peak when I'm at the top and feel the burn